Hey everyone, Binky back today. Welcome back. So today I have decided to continue on using the Zodiac palette and creating a look with this palette for every single sign of the Zodiac. You know what, I decided why not get some use out of the palette, see how it works, just have fun with it. It's always fun to experiment with makeup. Remember, it just washes off. Now, I'm not a makeup artist, obviously. <laughs> so, you know, um, some of these looks are going to be interesting. I mean, some may be better than others. We don't know what's going to happen. So, because, you know, I tend to go with very natural eye looks. And so, um, this will be fun. This will be a learning experience for all. You'll pick up some facts about the different zodiac signs. And um, I will learn to do more bold, creative eye looks. <laughs> so, it's kind of a win win, I think. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, so I'm going to go in order. Now, it's kind of interesting because, of course, it is a little bit limiting. Not because it's a bad palette, it's actually a very excellent palette. But um, some of the colors that represent the different signs are not necessarily here or the way that I would use them. But I'm going to discuss that once we get down further into the zodiac signs. So um, there, I may do a reboot of this, but I'll get to, into that later. Yeah, we're not going to rush. So this is about Taurus. And so Taurus is the second zodiac sign. And they are in the end of April until towards the end of, of um, May. And yeah, Taurus is the first earth sign. So let's do this. So Taurus. Now the thing is with Taurus, Taurus actually, the colors that represent Taurus, when you think of Taurus, you think of the bull. And the bull for me, yes, bulls can come in different colors, but for me, I always think of the brown bulls or the reddish brown ones. Um, fun fact, my grandparents had um, a farm and there were bulls on it and cows and it's one of the reasons why I do not eat beef today. But we're not going to get into that. No, we're not getting into the childhood trauma. But we had bulls and the ones that they had were the reddish brown ones. And so that's what I think of when I think of Taurus. So I know that there's other types, but that's just my experience. So Taurus is the bull. So the thing is, before I get into the look, Taurus actually is like light green. It represents almost like these pastel colors and, and, and a light green is what represents in the zodiac Taurus, which is kind of strange. But the thing is, I don't necessarily, like with Aries, red represents Aries, so I went for a more red look, but I don't feel like green really works for Taurus. Not that Taurus doesn't like green, it obviously does, but um, the pastel color just, I think it would confuse people. So I'm gonna stick with browns. So here we go. So I'm just gonna go with this color here. It's just this nice little uh, warm brown color here because this is gonna be a more warm look. Much like Taurus. Taurus is a very warm sign. The thing with Taurus is it does take a little bit of time to really get to know them. They're really, really nice people. But here's the thing with Taurus. Somebody like Aries is very quick to make friends. You know, they're, they're, you know they, they're very friendly people. They like to meet new people and have a good time. And they're the type who go, oh man, this is my new best friend. You know, it's very much an Aries type thing. Taurus is not like that. Taurus is going to take a little bit more time to warm up to people. They'll be nice. They're very polite people, but they're going to take some time. They're not the type to say, oh, this person's my really good friend. In fact, they're not the type to call people friends unless they truly are. So, you know, they're more likely to say, well, this is my acquaintance, <laughs> you know, or somebody that I work with or, you know, whatever. They don't use that term lightly. So that's what I like about Taurus is if they compliment you or if they call you a friend, they really mean it. Okay, so I'm going to take a more precise brush there um, to go in with uh, this reddish color because when I see, or this reddish, this like, um, orangish brown color because this to me just totally represents what Taurus is when you think of the bull like I do so I think this will be perfect 
but you always want to type your, uh, tap your brush with these because I find these are really pigmented and quite powdery and we don't want to pull what I did with Aries where it just was like, whoa. Now Taurus is one of the first fixed signs and let me tell you, fixed is exactly like it says. <laughs> so while Aries is a cardinal, which are the go-getters, fixed sign means it isn't going where, anywhere, and that's exactly how Taurus is. If you've ever seen a bull in the field, they are content, they are happy, sitting there slowly eating their food, and they're not bothering anyone, you know? So that's Taurus, you know? They're, they're pacing themselves. They are not the type to rush for anything. They're not. So don't ask them to, because they're not going to. You wanna know why? Most stubborn sign of the zodiac. <laughs> they really are. There's a lot of stubborn signs, and a lot of them are the earth signs, which Taurus is an earth sign, along with Capricorn and Virgo. Don't tell them what to do, especially a Taurus, because it isn't gonna happen. Let's go with Scorpio. Scorpio and Taurus actually could be a really good match. They really can. So these two, Scorpio is a water sign, Taurus is an earth sign, but in astrology, the signs that get work well are usually within their own group, and also complementary would be, um, for earth signs would be water. They work really well together while fire and air kind of work together. So earth and water, think about it this way, earth and water work together really well, while you need air to fuel fire, and so that's why they all work well together. This is really going in quite nicely. I really like this, and you know, in between, go in and just kind of uh, smooth them out a little bit. Now here's the thing, I think I'm going to do more of a halo look with Taurus, and here's the reason why. I just think it's gonna work because when you see a bull, pretty much the whole thing's brown and then you'll see like light around the eyes, almost like that white creamy ring. So that's what we're gonna go for with this. And the thing is, um, I don't wanna be too garish. So, you know, I wanna keep it really neat because Taurus is ruled by Venus, the planet of beauty and love. Actually two signs are Libra and Taurus and so, you know, they would want to keep something classy and classic. You know, Taurus isn't so much about experimentation as some of the other signs. And I do want to say, just because you have a Taurus sun doesn't mean you're going to have Taurus traits, because here's why. If you look at your chart, which you can get for free online, if you have a lot of Taurus placements in your planets, that's going to make you more Taurus than, like, let's say you have a Taurus sun, but you have all these fire signs and every other sign, you're gonna act more like a fire sign if you only have the one ruling planet, even though the sun is really important. So you may wanna look at that. So you may look and say, well, my sun sign's nothing like the way I act, and it's because your other planets, it may be your moon, specifically the big three, or your moon, ascendant, and um, your sun. But if you have like five planets, like in one sign, you're gonna lean more towards acting like that. So that's why you have to look at your whole chart. Okay, so let's see here. I wanna go in with Pisces again. Pisces is just so popular <laughs> in this palette for me so far. And in general, I think Pisces is popular because Pisces is just easy going and uh, you know, they're pretty chill. One of the most chill signs, so they're just easy to work with with everyone. Who doesn't like Pisces? Um, so what I am going to do, ooh, I need to blend this just a little bit better, but what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with Pisces and I am going to start packing it onto the lid a little bit for the halo look that I'm going for. So there will be shimmer. Don't worry. We're not just going to stick with all mattes with this look. Um, but as I was saying before, Taurus is about classic looks. They're not about gaudy, they're just not gaudy. In fact, when it comes to fashion and things, you know, they want something that is gonna be classic. Like, they're gonna want a wardrobe or jewelry or things that are not gaudy, but just classic. Okay, so 
You know what we're gonna do? Actually, this palette got Taurus right. This is like the perfect color for Taurus right here, so it'd be a shame not to use it. Now this other color is a really dark purple, which would never work for Taurus. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's like, what? Nah, they're not into that. But what we're gonna do is, what I wanna do is actually take a little bit of this to prep it. This is the highlighter and just put it in the center just to prep it a little bit for the beauty that is this gorgeous Taurus color. And I kind of went outside the line there a little bit here. Um, that's okay, we'll just go back in and fix it. Pisces likes to uh, fix things. So we'll go back in with Pisces. They must like to fix things too much. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with Taurus's color here. They got one right. And um, put this here in the center. It's really lovely actually what I like about these is you could definitely use like a fixing spray if you would like um, to make it really really stick on but I don't really feel like it needs it but um, I probably will spray it off in the end just to finish it off but this just goes in really nicely and then you can blend them in really well so don't be afraid to do that don't be afraid to finger paint here and get in there and just mix the two colors together. Okay, so I want to go back in with Pisces and just fill this in a little bit just to really give it the pop that it deserves. You got to be patient with it, much like Taurus. Taurus is one of the most patient, patient signs of the zodiac and they will outlast anyone. Like Aries has no patience. Actually, the fire signs are the most impatient signs. Aries being number one because it is the uh, baby of the zodiac and the thing is if you're doing a staring contest, Taurus is going to win. Any kind of contest, Taurus is going to win because they have the most patience of anyone and they do not care. Again, because they're stubborn and so they will outlast anyone. Here's the thing. They also, you don't want to poke the sleeping bear because the worst temper in the Zodiac goes to Aries because Aries gets upset rather quickly in comparison to some of the other signs, but Taurus actually has the scariest temper. Don't poke the sleeping bear. They are the most chill sign. They're one of the most chill signs in the Zodiac, man. They get along with everyone. And then you push them too far and they will just sit there and stew and stew. And when they explode, you better run because that bull is charging and it's gonna be one of the most horrifying things you've ever seen. But the thing is what I like about Taurus is that they don't do it all the time. Like Aries will kind of like get upset quite a lot. I'm going back in with Taurus and filling in this here they um you know Aries gets upset about little things while Taurus I mean it's because you pushed them too far and then they get angry and okay so what I'm gonna do is go back in one more time I think with this uh, Sagittarius a mix of um, Aquarius here and Sagittarius <sighs> Aquarius and Sagittarius might drive uh, poor Taurus a little bit crazy this is true because uh yeah, they're a little bit uh, too headstrong and quirky, and with Taurus, Taurus likes its routine, and Aquarius and um, Sagittarius are a lot more freewheeling. You know, there's like, yeah, let's do whatever. Everything's last minute and kind of like spur of the moment, having a good time. That's not Taurus. Taurus likes its routine. It doesn't want you to mess with its routine. It does better in routine, and when it doesn't get routine, it's kind of like, are you for real? I want you two to go away. Moving on, we're going to take, um, again, some Sagittarius and Aquarius. These colors really wouldn't work for these two. I know. <laughs> so we're going to take this underneath the eye. And don't be afraid to get under there because, you know, it's going to create this kind of smoky look with the kind of reddish brown, giving it that look. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. You know, there's a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done in here and around here, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. So unlike Aries, I'm sorry, Aries, you kind of got screwed <laughs> because sometimes being the first sign of the Zodiac, you know, you miss out on certain things because you're always the first. And so being the first, sometimes you don't get the full effect of things. And so as this evolves, and it's slowly evolving. You're the pioneer. You created this idea, but other people are benefiting from a more, uh, more information and a full look guide. 
still love you. But so now what I'm gonna do is, you see I still have the wrapper on this. This is Sephora brand um, eyeliner. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into the rim of the eye. Now I rarely do this because this just isn't my style. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Hoola Light just to warm up this look a bit. Um, and just like put it here just a little bit. Um, you know, I don't want to put too much. Just a little bit for definition, just to really kick that neutral look in. So we're not done yet. I want to go in here and add a little bit of color. So I'm going to use Too Faced's um, Sweetie Pie and just put that in here. Let's see how this works. It's getting darker in here, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to really see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's okay, we got this. So I'm gonna put that here, warm it up a little bit. Okay, so just to kind of add a kick in this, I kind of want to keep it in the vein of being um, uh, warmer rather than bringing too many cool tones. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of Taurus and put it under the eye here, under the brow. And the reason is because Taurus isn't afraid with a little bit of sparkle as long as it's done classy and so make sure you really get it in there well you know what's nice about this video is much like Taurus I'm not complaining much because these colors are going on so much better than Aries did because <laughs> these, these, these actually represent the bull really well and so I'm actually really happy with it yeah it needs a little bit of cleanup but yeah <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is take the Sephora a highlighter palette here and I'm gonna use these golds here I usually use the pinks and white a lot you can see and what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of gold highlight to the cheekbone because you know Taurus is about beauty ruled by Venus and so it likes a little bit of sparkle but it you know again it, it, it it's a classy lady so it doesn't want to be you know too much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish with the eyeliner and with the uh, mascara and here's the thing again I want to go with the classic look so I'm not gonna get too wild it's just gonna be a basic black eyeliner with black mascara and then we'll choose a lip color and we're gonna finish this now I removed the mauve lipstick because it just did not go with this so what I am going to use next is take a spin and this is from Sephora. They just released these. This is Sephora's new um, line of lipsticks. And this one's just beautiful because I don't want to do um, too much, uh, like a really bold lip with this because Taurus is kind of into, into rules. They're very stable in what they believe, almost to the point of being stubborn sometimes. And um, so they like to follow those rules a little bit, especially the ones that they've created for themselves. And so they're more likely to follow the, like if you show a little bit up here, you don't show the legs. And if you show the legs, you cover up here. Same thing, if you go with dark eyes, go with the light lips. If um, you go with bold lips, go with light eyes. You know, Taurus is about that, you know, unlike, one of the fire signs or Gemini or Aquarius are going to think outside the box and go do whatever you want. Nah, Taurus is going to be a little bit calmer with that. So I'm just going to pop this on. This is like a beautiful neutral color. There we go. I really love this formula, by the way. These are brand new. I have a video up on these that I just put up. Honestly, I love these damn lipsticks. That's right. So, yeah, I think that's it. So this is the Taurus inspired look. Um, I think I'm pretty darn happy with it looking at it. What I like about it is that it's just, it's classic. And you know, it's, it's always gonna be in style. You know, the smoky eye look, it's not as harsh as a black smoky eye look. And it's very wearable and with the halo effect that never goes out of style, I didn't want to go and do a crazy wing look because I feel like that would just be too much. I'm happy with it. I have to say that uh, this palette works really well for neutral colors. So for the earth signs, this palette is just absolutely perfect because there's so many neutrals in it. So you can see like here and then some of these here, they're just neutral. And so earth signs are about neutral colors because they're earth signs. So 
this is just perfect for that grouping, absolutely. I will say it's gonna be challenging on some of the more colorful signs because, you know, even though there's bright pops of colors, it does tend to lend itself to be a more neutral palette. I know, so it's not as intimidating as it seems, but it's perfect for Taurus. And the reason that I went for this look is, again, because Taurus is very classic. They're a classy sign. They're ruled by Venus, and so they tend to follow the rules a little bit more, and they like to be classically pretty with their makeup or with the way that they dress. It's just the way it is because of Venus. So they will do like this, a smoky eye look, but not necessarily a harsh smoky eye look. So I wanted to go for a more gentle look, even though it's a little bit smoky, but not too over the top. That's just not Taurus's way. And you know, same thing with kind of dressing, you know, you want to keep it classy. So that's what they are about. You know, they may not be quite as experimental as some other signs like the fire and some of the air signs that are a little bit like, hey, let's throw the rules out the window. Who cares? You know, if you have a lot of Taurus in your chart, you're, you're very steady. They're a steady sign. They're very much about what they know and leave them be. <laughs> they got this. You know, don't worry about Taurus. They always get it done, but they're going to do it their way. You know, that's just the way it is. So, yes, yeah, so I wanted to be create something that was, you know, a classic look that wasn't too over the top. That's just not their way, you know, and they're happy with it. So, yes, you know, some other fun facts about Taurus. They are known a little bit as the hoarders of the Zodiac, or they can be seen as possessive. Their motto is, I have, and, you know, some people may take that the wrong way, and I don't see them necessarily as hoarders as much as I see them as somebody who, they do love their possessions, and there's nothing wrong with that. What you'll notice in the Zodiac is the ones, Aries, you know, and the bottom ones tend to be a little bit more um, focused on what's around them now. They're not looking at, you know, what's beyond, you know, this plane. That's more the older signs. So you have the younger signs down here, and then at the end of the zodiac with Pisces and like Aquarius and Sagittarius, they tend to be a little bit more, um, you know, the, the, the older souls of the zodiac. That's just kind of how they are. That's how the cycle works, much like real life. So Taurus is in there with Aries. You know, they're newborns. They're ready to enjoy everything this plane offers. You know, unlike Pisces, it's like, eh, take it or leave it. You know, there's more to life than that. These guys aren't like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. We're all here to learn a certain lesson is what astrology would say. And that's why these different signs have different things. Now, yes, Taurus can be possessive of things, but that's because they love their things pristine. So it, they don't like borrowing or letting people borrow their stuff because they're afraid that people aren't going to treat it with the respect that they do and they'll get it back and they'll be mangled and they'll be, Grr. you know, they don't want that. So the reason why Taurus, in my theory, has a lot of possessions isn't because they're huge hoarders, but because they believe in sentiment. So there's a lot of sentimental value to the things that they have and, you know, oh, this shirt, I remember this memory with this shirt, so they're going to keep it forever but the thing is it's going to be in pristine shape it looks exactly the same way it was when they bought it 20 years ago seriously <laughs> so they they keep getting more and more possessions you know pisces isn't so much about possessions they're like yeah you know you can't take it with you and taurus is like but i'm sure gonna damn try so <laughs> you know nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that you know while aries is more about um experiences and going out and trying things in life taurus is more of a homebody and likes to surround itself with beauty so even though they're still kind of the children of the zodiac they go about it different ways aries is like bye home i'm you know, they, they don't even care if they move around all the time. They're, you know, they're like, hey, I got stuff I got to do. I don't want to be home. And Taurus is like, I want to be home, guys. You're wearing me out, Aries. You're wearing me out. So, yes. So, this is it for Taurus. Um, the next one is Gemini, the twins. Oh, I love me some Gemini. I do. You know, it's going to be a little bit difficult with this palette because they tend to go a little bit outside of the box. And so we're going to have to get creative because there are not a lot of bright colors here that would really work for Gemini. I have an idea and it could be a real disaster, which is always fun to watch. <laughs> it's like that, you know, it, it really is. It's, it, it, it could be, oh yeah, it could be good. It could be bad, but that's okay. <laughs> so Gemini, you wonderful twins with the dual personality, you are next. You are a lot of fun. So this look... Hopefully is going to be fun. 
So let me know what you think, how you feel about this palette, and we'll keep plugging away. So until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye.